Alright, it's Chris at the Procrastinator's Garage. It's, uh, what is it, Friday morning, 7.15. Been here since about 6, 6, well, 6.30. Didn't work on it yesterday, was going to, but the wife was off of work, so we spent some quality time together. I got about... 12 hours to get this done, gold detail, vacuum, I'm going to start vacuuming here, um, I do the vet, you know, a really good vacuum, and then uh, I'm going to start doing the upholstery, probably, you know, do these seats, oh, they're all pretty dirty. Clean in here with the tornado tool. It's pretty nasty. But it ain't bad. But, uh, it's gonna be a lot of wiping down and jams and stuff. Still kinda waking up. Uh, the shampoo, the floor mats. Got to buff out this bumper cover, which is pretty bad. Lots of scratches. Kind of rinsed off the car, so it's kind of can't really tell if you, on camera how bad the paint is, but it's not that good. Yeah, I'll get all the interior stuff done, and then uh, I'm going to take a break. All the bugs. Got to do a headlight restoration. So, yeah. Starting off the day. So, uh, alright, I'll be back when I get the interior done, probably. Uh, I'm back. Uh, forgot to mention, <laughs> well, I would probably would have done it later on today, but uh, I did get a package in the mail. This is my shop address. <coughs> From Greg Porter. Got my first sticker. Don't let your meat wolf. Thank you very much, Craig. I uh, really appreciate it. Very first sticker. So now I'm gonna have to stop procrastinating and uh, put something, make something to put them on. Um, I'm actually gonna read this letter because uh, I got something to, some news that I don't know. But uh, he wrote, it's guys like you who from the backbone of this con form the backbone of this country. You take a risk to start a business, with hand to mouth to get it going, and then one day it will finally start to work out. That's what I was hoping for. Um, it hasn't been working out, so uh, I've got to pay right here. I'm a little late. i got to pay it by tomorrow. Um, and I think I'm going to give them my notice. I'm just not making any money. And it's, you know, so, i got a verbal lease, you know, it, 
I don't know, he told me something about he wanted a 60 day notice, I think it was, you know, if I was going to move out, so, you know, I figure, well, give him a 60, 90 day notice, move out of here by the end of August, be the end of the summer, hopefully I can just make as much money as I can this summer and get out before winter hits. Unless I can find something else to do, you know, I do want to do what Milo's doing, that hydrographics, that'd be really cool, but just don't know if there'd be the market around here for it. Um, I don't even have the money to, you know, get the materials to even try it out, and I mean, I can build a tank and stuff like that, you know, but it's just buying the activator, buying the film. You know, I don't know. We'll see what happens, and, uh, you know, I am still hoping for the best. You know, I told my dad about it here a couple nights ago, and, you know, he's kind of disappointed, but he kind of understands. You know, it's, it's, he knows that, you know, I've done all I can, and he knows it's not because of my quality of work, because, I mean, my dad's a really picky guy. And, uh, you know, and a lot of his friends have come to me, and, you know, so they'll tell, tell him, you know, uh, their honest opinion, and they've always had good things to say. They've went above and beyond of what they were expecting, so I, I just don't understand it, you know. I, I have very affordable prices. I mean, my dad said, you know, he's been, he looks around all the time and compares my prices, and... You know, there's guys out there that are charging 35, 45 bucks for headlight restoration. No matter how dirty it is. I charge 10 bucks. I'm going to charge this guy 10 bucks to do his headlights. You know, basically I only got to do that one and then buff out that one. That one I'll have to, you know, let sand out and buff. But, uh, you know. Not that I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like, you know, ripping people off. You know, a wash, a car wash, I charge $15. You know, I, I do the complete exterior wash. I do bug and tar removal, which is just spray on the bug, bug removal stuff, you know, while I'm washing it. Um, after I'm done washing it, I, I have uh, stuff called Autosol that dissolves uh, the tar. Um, it's not real good on tree sap, so I use some stuff called Super Off. I bought it years and years ago. Um, I'm not sure if they still have it. Uh, let's see if I can find the container. Yep. Stuff right here. Super Off works really well um, to get tar off, you know. Uh, the auto saw stuff though is, uh, where is it? Here it is. Auto saw, uh, tar spot and adhesive remover. Um, you know, it, uh, has a one for health hazard, three for flammability. But uh, specifically formulated for cleaning adhesives from windows that are associated with factory stickers. This also is an extremely exceptional product to remove wax and polishes from paint prior to applying, applying decals or stripping or striping. Sorry. Um, you know, so basically it's wax and grease remover. But, uh, I think it's a lot cheaper than wax and grease remover. Um, so then, yeah, okay, my wash, so I do that, scrub the tires and I scrub the rims, you know, I do a quick scrub, I don't get the rust stains off and stuff, you know, so, um, but I do, you know, get the tar off them and stuff, and tar splatter off of the rims too, apply the tire shine, and then I clean all the windows inside and out. Well, of course, the outside gets clean when uh, when I clean the car, you know. But then I clean all the inside windows, 
Now, you know, a lot of people, you know, around here, most of the drive through car washes are $9 a car wash. Um, you know, so I don't, I'm not charging that much more, you know, and I'm doing a lot more work. It does take me an hour, you know, half hour to an hour, depending on the size of the vehicle. And it is a flat rate. I don't charge, you know, any more for pickup, you know, or a minivan, which, you know, a lot of times they take, you know, an extra 15, 20 minutes. Uh, minivans, I do really hate doing minivans because of all the frickin' windows. But, uh, you know, a car like this, you know, I'd, I'd make out pretty good for a $15 car wash. It's not that big of a car um, to do a, a wash on. So, not a lot of windows, you know. Um, they do hate two doors because I hate crawling in the back seats. I'm getting too old for that. But, uh, you know. I'm going to have one more cigarette. One more tooch. And, uh, then I'm going to get vacuuming. But, yeah, you know, I really don't want to, I really don't want to shut down. I mean, I, I just, I don't know. You know, I have no money for advertising. I'm getting disconnection notice from electric, electric uh, company. I did get caught up there with, uh, you know, my friends using the shop. Money they were chipping was covering my electric bill. But uh, the last, not this month, but the last two months, I've had to uh, pay rent with the credit card with cash advance um, this month we're paying it with our tax return that we just got which you know it's taken out basically half our tax return just to pay rent you know and I can't pay a lot well this Alright, it's Chris Pasadena's garage. Got the Mustang done. Didn't turn out too bad. Yeah, he's on his way here, so I might shut this off abruptly. There we go, that's better. Yeah, got the door panels done, shampooed the seats, it didn't turn out too bad. Got the cup things all cleaned out. So yeah, did a polish and wax, I 
got to show you the body work on this thing on the other quarter. It was hit on this passenger side. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully he'll be happy though. I can't see in there real well, but got a few before pictures. Got the door all checked all. Roof turned out pretty good. It's pretty scratched up, but. Bad. Still a lot of bugs caked on the bumper. I use the usually like with uh, rail dust, call it. I use a sponge. And nature, straight nature. I was using the sponge with straight bug juice. Oops. So still got the mats out here. Turned out pretty good. I probably didn't show you guys these before. These are really bad. Yeah. Well, guess uh, everybody have a good one. He's just going to come and pay me and you know, park it outside. I'm not sure if he's taking it right now. But, uh, you know, I like doing this job. What a shaky camera. Um, but yeah. Thanks again, Greg Porter. And, uh, for the sticker and uh, thanks Milo for doing that uh, hydrographics thing. Um, I'll look up. I'll look up that. I haven't haven't looked up that company yet. Where you got your stuff? Wow. So uh, yeah. Everybody have a good one.
Chris is a procrastinator's garage. Guy came and picked up his car. Uh, he was, well, actually, it's still parked outside, but they're coming back later. But yeah, I uh, made 189.90 in about nine hours. He gave me 200 bucks, so ten dollar tip. He he was surprised that it come out shiny as it did. But uh, yeah, so I'm heading home. I'm starving. Um, I can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> I I did get another call today on a gold detail, so sounded like uh, good. Sounded good. He, but I think he's calling around. So he said he'd call me back when he wants to set up an appointment. So. Yeah, hopefully, I think things might change, but I don't know. I'm still probably going to close up in August, but we'll see. Alright, everybody have a good one. Thanks a lot. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much.